<laughs> Welcome to Bill, man. I'm your host, Matt Forte. We are here live at the Bill Studio in New York City. Let's get right into it. Let me tell you about our first guest. Now, I have the co-founder and a partner of an incredible company called Sonic Cloud. It's a truly revolutionary technology that enhances sound on phone calls for those with moderate to profound hearing loss. Their mission is to bring affordable hearing technology to the hundreds of millions worldwide who suffer from said loss. And, and I, I, I think they're going to do it, man. I'm going to tell you right now. Now, coincidentally, that co-founder is also a producer and director, and that partner plays a character named Jack McFarland in an up-and-coming little TV sitcom called, am I reading this? Right. Will and Grace. Uh, I'll hold for applause. Uh, I just that that little startup show just finished its first season since 2007. And I don't know if you guys know this, but they just got two more. But we're getting two more seasons of that show. You know that, right? It's fantastic. So while you're applauding, uh, keep that excitement high because Larry Guterman and Mr. Sean Hayes are here. How about that, everybody? Huh? That's exciting. That's exciting. We're gonna bring them out in a second. Before we do, we've got a, a quick video that we're gonna take a look at and then we'll get this thing on the rails. So uh, let's go ahead and run that clip. Brother Samuel, another tray please. Very good, thank you. More food, more food. There, Brother Gregor, that's right. Very good, bring the cabbage. Brother Vartan, he likes the cabbage. Yes, we talked about this beforehand. Cabbage is good for him. That's quite a feast for the beast. Did you guys? I just rhymed. Now that's wonderful, Ezekiel. Brother Ezekiel, that's fantastic. I really must say. And oh, we got the eggplant too. Hello? I'm sorry? Who is this? <laughs> it's God. Oh my God, you guys, it's God. <gasps> He's literally on the phone. I'm talking to God right now. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead. Tell them to stop! What? Tell them to stop! What's that I can't? I'm having trouble hearing you. It's very windy up there. Are you... Try Sonic Cloud. Oh, well, this is much clearer. What's up? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just doing what you told us to do. Feed the boar. I said feed the boar. Okay, guys, pack it up. Let's move it out. Pick it up and move it out. We, somebody made a mistake. It's not me. Probably, I think, it was, I think it was this guy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise. Larry Guterman and Mr. Sean Hayes. Hello, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Uh, guys, welcome to Build. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with us. Thanks for having us. Uh, so much to talk about, a lot to discuss. I, I really want to dive into the app, but uh, we have a little bit of time here on Build, so I always love to start with just, how are you? How are you doing? Oh, How'd geez, that's such a nice question to open with. Thank you, Sean. <laughs> uh, we're doing really, really great. Yeah, 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 everything's... How are you, Larry? I'm good. Yeah, right, wonderful. Great. That's great. wonderful. That's good. That's well, good. we can check that box off. Yep, ticked off. Now we move on. <laughs> Um, Larry, I, I'd love to start uh, with you. The, the story of how this app came to be is, is pretty awesome to me as well. Y have you always ha uh, suffered from uh, hearing loss? Uh, has it degraded over time? Tell us a little bit about your journey to this point. Sure. Um, so, no, I had n normal hearing, yeah. uh, quote unquote, <laughs> until, I was, uh, until I was 19. I was in college at a very loud party, and uh, I was there for too long, and I had ringing in my ears for a week afterwards. And I went to get checked. I had a little bit of loss. And then over the course of 20 plus years or so, it deteriorated to the point where it was, it was pretty dramatic. Uh, um, in English, the S's, the SH's, those are the sounds that give you clarity. Other words, everything sounds like God. Mm -hmm. Like Charlie Brown's teacher, if you guys have made. <laughs> well, well, there's so, a couple in the audience. Yeah, a couple <laughs> in there. We know. Um, yeah. So, so um, uh, those were de degraded so strongly that I had 110 decibels of loss at those frequencies, which wow. is the equivalent of the loudness of a chainsaw five feet from your head. Yeah. 
So after that, I was having some trouble uh, on phones a few years ago on phone calls and was on a call and realized that the, um, with, with my old roommate from college and realized that the um, audio on the speakers on phones was getting much better. Yeah. And why not, uh, you know, and we talked about um, at, the, at Sonic Cloud, why not take the functionality of the $5,000 hearing aid and put it on this mini supercomputer that we're all yeah. carrying around in our pockets, which is actually a more powerful computer than this little chip in the hearing aid. And, um, and that's, that was the genesis. It's yeah. pretty amazing. Uh, for a lot of people uh, th that have like a big idea like this, it can be daunting uh, to be like, all right, well, I know what I want to do. What, for you, what was like step one? I was like, all right, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to make it so everybody can hear. Right. Now what? So the first... Well, they called me. <laughs> and um, I knew exactly what to do. I called my friends in Silicon Valley. And uh, go ahead, sorry. Yeah. Uh, that's a good story. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So we make the movie version. That's <laughs> right, the movie. kind of a no-brainer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, so um, uh, we developed a hearing our own um, sort of, we reinvented our own sort of audiology methodology for developing a very accurate and precise hearing profile. For me, I was sort of patient zero. We worked with the former chief of audiology at Stanford Children's Health a Hospital up there and um, created a three-step um, uh, audiology methodology. The first step is what's the more classic approach, which is you, if you've ever gone into one of those, you listen to the beeps. And that gives you what's called the minimum threshold. That gives you a baseline kind of mechanical result of the response of your inner ear, of your cochlea. The second step, which we added, which is not in the conventional um, uh, techniques, is called neural adjustments or neural optimization. And in that step, we give the actual user the ability to change the letters and the phonemes themselves. So if they're listening to an S, we play back audio. I don't know if you have a... Yeah, I think they're going to bring it up in a second um, so we can see, because it's pretty amazing. Got, got it, yeah. So you change those letters, and you have the ability to make them sharper or less sharp until they sound just right. That gets you another 10 15%, maybe 90 95% of the way there towards really crisp hearing. Was that always was that that particular step the the eleven yeah. herbs and spices, if you will, of, yeah. of the, the the recipe here? Was that always part of the process from the beginning? Was that something you were like, that's what I want to do different? Yes, that's, that was part of it because yeah. that's not um, uh, audiologists are great and hearing aids do uh, uh, you know help hundreds of millions of people, um, but but you they you can't get in they can't get inside your brain. Yeah. And only the person who has the hearing loss understands the hearing perception in their own brain. And if they can get in there and make those fine-tuned adjustments, especially for people with moderate to profound hearing loss, um, it can make a big difference. And finally, the third tier of tuning, we call it, is um, uh, interactive or real-time tuning. So if you're on a call and you're talking to somebody and they have a really low pitch voice like James Earl Jones, if you happen to be talking to him. I talk to all James time. all the time. Uh, he, he drove us here today, yeah. Uh, or, if you, <laughs> or if you're talking to um, uh, uh, you know, your, your niece or something who has a very high-pitched voice, you can adjust the audio to optimize it for that particular voice and then save that profile. Next time you talk to them, it'll, it'll come up. Um, so, or if, if you're, um, the person you're talking to is in a restaurant or on the street and you want to get rid of that particular background noise, you can do that as well. I mean, it's extraordinary that no, nobody is doing this and nobody has done this in, in this kind of capacity. That's what drew me to, to this whole thing is Larry and I have been friends for, for a long, long time. Larry directed me in a movie called Cats and Dogs. Saw it in theaters. <laughs> yeah. Very good. And, um, and it was years and years ago. And, but Larry also has a, a degree in physics uh, from Harvard, and he also suffers from hearing loss. So um, when he brought this to my attention, it was like, I'm as blown away as you are, as anybody is that hears about this, that um, there, is this, there is this technology now that gives people with, with dramatic hearing loss the ability to make crystal clear phone calls. And also, as of recent, we just figured out it's to stream media, yeah. TV, movies, <clears throat> music, anything, um, without the use of captions or hearing aids, which is revolutionary. Yeah, and I, I, we're going to get into stream media in a second. Uh, but what I, I what I really want to get into, what I love about this, is it sort of delivers on the promise of this technology that we've had for so long, right. which for the most part has been 
pretty earth changing, but like you've put the user in the driver's seat on this. Because I've been to those audiologist appointments or whatever, and no, and no matter how comfortable you are with the doctor, you're still very nervous. You don't want to say the wrong thing. What if I hear the tone at the wrong time and now I have to wear these crazy headphones for the rest of my life? Like you don't know, you freak out. But here, you're, you're on your own. You have it, you're in control. Right. You make those decisions. It changes everything. Right, you do it in the comfort of your home. Yeah. You can take it as many times as you want. Um, every time you go back, thank you. You're 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 the pro at this. Um, uh, <laughs> um, and um, you know you don't have to. Every time you go back, every time you redo it, you're not either getting. I mean, I have I spent probably, and I'm one of the lucky ones who was able to afford it at the time, yeah. forty to fifty thousand dollars in hearing aids over the years because every three to five years, or really every two to three years, I'd have to replace them as my hearing deteriorated. With Sonic Cloud, you just take a new hearing assessment whenever you need it, and you just upgrade your um, hearing profile. Yeah, and um, just to clarify, everyone at home, I use the same earbuds that I use in my commute, that I use every day, that I use in the gym. There, there's no like required heart, you are, if you have a phone, you have yep. it. Yep, that's right. Yeah, Just yeah, the phone and earbuds. Great. I mean, when Larry first told me about it several years ago, he, he just put his phone down on the table, we were at lunch, and he's like, that's that's my that's gonna be my hearing aid now. And I'm like, what? I didn't understand. And he's like, so everything is processed through the phone. It's just incredible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how I, I was hoping we can get the video up in a second to take a look at some of the stuff because one of the other things I loved about it uh, is the adorable little graphics when you're doing it. The little guys singing, the, the all the different things. How, how many revisions and artists did you guys go through till you landed on like the right? Because it really sets the tone. It takes yeah. any sense of gravity or scariness out of it. And it's like, oh, this is Actually cool. Actually really fun. Exactly. Yeah. It's like almost like a Right, game. right. Well, there, there are a few inspirations for that. Well, one is just from my background in film and, and animation, we wanted to make it less clinical, not intimidating, not medical, more engaging and fun and intuitive for the user so that it... When they're doing it, it's actually engaging. So here's okay, the yeah. So here's yeah. Here's the here's the middle um, tier of tuning, which is um, modifying the letters yourselves as the audio is playing back over and over. Um, when you go to the audiologist, again, they're great, but they typically say, okay, put the hearing aids in. Now go out into the real world. Now come back and tell us how it sounds. And you're like, well, okay, yeah. great, but you know, good, but not great. They make some adjustments. Here, there's some interactive uh, capability, which audiologists have told us, well, why don't we have this technology? Yeah. So, um, but, uh, to, sorry, go ahead. Well, no, I was just going to say, um, even, uh, granted, not cute little characters, but even the design and the aesthetic of just these right. screens, again, right. you totally, it's not clinical at all. So the, yeah. so the brands that were inspiring were uh, the Virgin Airlines, um, uh, safety videos, not the ones where they're dancing, but the animated ones, animated. if you ever saw those. Yeah, yeah. Just a really fun, engaging, like, now you're gonna look at the safety video. I think they even say, for the point zero 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 one percent of you who have never put on a seatbelt, here's how you do it, and they have like a little animated thing. Yeah. So they took a kind of an irreverent tone, and, 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 and also, um, there are a couple of other brands that, that were inspiring, and what we wanted to do was subconsciously educate the yeah. user. So. For the low pitch, there's this deep voiced opera singer. Yeah. Uh, the middle pitch are you know, kids, and the high pitch is this, is this bird with a very bird. high pitch sound. Whether or not you get it, maybe you absorb it subconsciously, and it helps you understand and, and a little bit more about your problem so you feel more empowered, because people who have this problem can become very isolated. This yeah. is an example of some of the real-time tuning where you can save a profile and use it later. And there's a little tutorial which shows you exactly what to do so that you don't have to know anything about audio or hertz or decibels. Yeah, and it's really fascinating too. Like you said, the way that you're sort of sneaking in a little bit of education and like teaching everyone how their ear works, how right. these frequencies work and what they mean. Because I think for a majority of people out there, even at this point, maybe bass and treble was all you knew. On a, it was all you knew. Right. Those are the same people that knew what the Charlie Some Brown reference was. I don't think anybody knows char bass and treble anymore. Right. <laughs> like, That's right. But, That's right. So this is really... And, and it's important because hearing loss is not about volume. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's why people turn they turn turn it up. Ah, oh, it's too loud. Right. Yeah. Uh, or you know the the husband and the wife and they're like You're playing the TV way too uh, damn loud. Yeah. Right. So the concept is clarity and it's about um, speech intelligibility, which is very different. And if you do it right and you shape the hearing response properly in the signal processing on the phone, we, we call it sort of like Michelangelo sculpting a David. You start with the giant hammer, you, you, you go with a more, um, the, the more refined ball-peen hammer, and then you have a chisel. And you chisel it 
Yeah. All right, let's. Uh, I, I've got some screenshots I want them to bring up in a second and talk to me about uh, Sonic Cloud streaming. Uh, this is rel. Is this this is pretty new, right? The app was first. Yep. Now this is the newest thing. That's right. Uh, and if we can get, they'll bring it up in a second here. Uh, so tell us a little bit about what, what this is and how this is different from the app. Sure. So um, we took. So once you take your hearing assessment, you now have this profile that follows you around. So we thought, OK, let's apply that now to more than just a phone call. So now you can take this profile if you have hearing loss. And I tried this. And um, I was, again, patient zero on this. And I had a regimen of things to test, a bunch of clips. And I started watching Saturday Night Live videos and like Get Out on Netflix and Black Mirror and all these shows and, <laughs> and, and talk show interviews with Jimmy Kimmel and stuff. And I'm like able to hear them now because I have my profile running on the laptop. And I didn't need captions. And I've never not needed captions. And, I, uh, and, and typically, when there's an SNL sketch and it's a comedy sketch, you know, like there's a sketch that was for Alexa where it's like old people. It's very funny. They can't hear the damn thing, right? <laughs> and so I'm watching, this, I'm watching this with my wife. And I can't hear it. And the captions are late or they're wrong. So I, is it funny? Well, I guess it's kind of funny. I'm looking over at her like maybe. <laughs> I guess. When I tried it out with Sonic Cloud Streaming, I get the joke exactly when it's delivered by the performer. So it was amazing. And it looks like, uh, looking at the interface, it's a similar principle to, to the phone app in that you, you're in the driver's seat. You have uh, variables that you can control in real time. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And we simplify it, but under the hood, it's pretty complex. Yeah. And basically, um, basically, you can see that you can make some adjustments overall, and then you can make some refined adjustments for sharpness and clarity and, and richness and so forth. And, um, and it's very powerful under the hood. It's much more powerful than some of these. Sim it's not a graphic equalizer. It's a much more complex um, uh, 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 tuning capability. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty amazing stuff, yeah. dude. I say yeah, we have, we, have, we have folks who use it, uh, uh, who, um, who swear by it, who use it for watching lectures you know, for university, who have hearing loss and so forth, and, uh, and, and, and are thrilled by it. It's yeah. pretty amazing. If I'm, if I'm watching an episode of Will and Grace, can I? Uh, I uh, bless you, bless you. <laughs> Can can I just make like like Jack a little bit louder? Can I can I? Uh, I don't know if you want to do that. Right well, can I make him a little uh, bit quieter? Yeah. He's can already starting pretty pretty high. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, no, that's what's great. I, you can do anything in real time, like Larry just said. It's any. It's going to be anything that you can stream through your laptop or uh, uh, Skype calls. Yeah, yeah. Skype calls. Um, uh, uh, audio books if you have them on your life. Eventually, it'll be on the on the iPad. Not yet, but it will be, and eventually, it'll be on the phone. So if you're sitting on the subway. You're trying to watch something. And by the way, even if you have normal hearing, you're in the subway, you might have trouble. You would be, probably be able to get some enhancement and have the, the vocals punch through. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, what, you mentioned coming to the iPad, different things. What, what is the roadmap look like? What are the next big hurdles? I mean, you've already done so, you, so many incredible things. But like, sure. what's, what's the, uh, once we achieve this, we'll really have made. Like, what's, right, right. What's the, so, so, you know, the, uh, this is sort of the all-encompassing solution also includes a face-to-face -face -face conversation. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there are apps out there currently that are doing, uh, you know, you, you use the phone as a processor and you have earbuds that go to your ears. Um, there's a technical hurdle to overcome to yeah. be able to use AirPods or Google Pixel Buds in terms of the latency. There's a bit of a delay now. Mm -hmm. um, but that's going to be overcome with, I think, the next generation of Bluetooth, which are faster. And at that point, um, and we're, we're developing some of the technology and working on some of the uh, uh, deep neural net background work for reducing background noise and removing background chatter. So the Bose headsets work great. You're on a plane, it gets rid of what's called steady state noise, which is like a hum. Um, but to be able to remove background voices like in a restaurant is a much more complex problem. And we're working on that as well. It's pretty wild. I um, I'm running out of time. I gotta throw to audience in a second, but but I would, but Sean, forgive me if you'll indulge if I ask just a couple Always. of Will and Grace questions. Please, yes, of I would, course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, congratulations, first of all. I, I know it was about a month ago it was announced, but we're getting two more seasons. Two more seasons, thirty-six more episodes. That's wild. Yes. That's yeah, crazy. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Yes. <laughs> Has it ceased to be surreal yet? Is it just back to normal? Or <laughs> no, I know. It's so crazy. You know, the whole thing started with that election video that we did in yeah. 2016. Still waiting for the results. But uh, <laughs> I don't know what happened. But um, <laughs> no, but that went uh, so well. And the response, we just did it for free. The crew did it for free. It was just to get the message yeah. out. But the result of that was millions of viewers later. And, and, and the appetite was there for the fans to, uh, from the fans to bring it back. Yeah. So here we are. And... It's just, it's like we took a week off, even though it was 11 years. Pretty 
So uh, yeah, we're, we're back on. There's been like there's a lot of like uh, uh, clickbaity titles of like how Will and Grace is so much more political now than it was before. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, but you had a great uh, quote that you said where the the lives of these characters they're living the same world that the audience is. Right. So if something affects America, yeah, we're going to talk about. That's it. right. It's 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 in it's. Yeah, these these characters have been in people's homes for years, and they live in the same world, like you just said, that that we all do. So of course they're going to comment on what's going on. Was there was there? I don't want to say a nervousness, maybe like a mild trepidation about <laughs> broaching these topics because uh, it, it is so more divided than than maybe in years past, or it feels more divided. Were you guys at all? Well, no, because I think it's always been built into the show. The show is very. Um, you know, it, it, it covers a lot of aspects all falling under the umbrella of relevancy. Yeah. So it's it touches on social things, political things, sex, religion, you know, pop culture, whatever it is. But what I love about the characters is Will and Grace are so clearly Democrats. Karen is so clearly Republican. And Jack represents the independent people who just cannot decide anything. And so you have every color represented uh, across the country, which is uh, which is what I love about the show. Yeah. Was there something in particular com coming back to the show after uh, how, seven years and whatnot? What, was there something you were really excited to do with Jack that maybe you didn't get to do before in the original run? Um, no, you know I'm I'm, a, I'm such a huge fan of physical comedy, yeah. and so um, I have a bunch of ideas for that we haven't done yet. <laughs> just as far as you know, I, I pitched this one episode. I don't know if we're going to do it. The writers are like, okay, got it. We hear you. But um, <laughs> but it, I, wanna, I want uh, to put on some fake... Um, or, I want to put on what I think is suntan lotion, but it's actually numbing cream. <laughs> so my whole body... Like, I cover my body and I go lay out and I just can't get off the... You know, stupid stuff like that. So um, so when you say, is there <laughs> stuff I haven't covered yet? That's, stuff like that. Yeah. That's what's on the agenda. Yeah, that's uh, what's on my agenda. <laughs> Um, we're very, we're all very excited for the for the next couple of seasons, and I'm sure when, whenever whenever a show gets picked up for more additional seasons, that's always very exciting. Did you in your head? Did you guys think, well, we'll do one season, we'll give the fans some fun stuff, and that's it, and we'll yeah, walk away? Yeah, they picked it up for ten the episodes. Show again. I know, it's so crazy. They picked it up for ten episodes. We're like, oh my god, this is gonna be so much fun, and then the, and the viewers showed up. So it's like, <laughs> what? Oh my god! So we're now doing like, we'll have we'll have done fifty two more episodes. It's crazy. So overall, like almost two hundred and fifty episodes by the time we're done with the next two seasons, yeah. Got it. Yeah. So following this line of logic, when, when can we expect the, the, the Cats and Dogs reboot? I know, right? Where's that? We need to remake Cats and Dogs. A reunion. Well, no, I mean, you know, Larry Austin was also the co-director on an animated movie called Ants. Yeah, um, phenomenal. Yeah, so like, 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 that's the thing about Sonic Cloud, to bring it kind of oh, back no, to Sonic Cloud, no, yeah. is like, that's what's so amazing about Larry. Larry is not only an incredible director, Obviously, but has a physics degree from Harvard. So, to and can't hear. So it's like he combined everything that is enti his entire life into Superhero. one product. I mean, and it's it's incredible. I mean, the fact that he designed all of this. So, it, it really. Um, so keep your all your tools in, in handy because they'll, <laughs> well, no, they'll be right. useful later. It, it the 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 beauty of the app and uh, and I can't stress this enough is that it doesn't feel. Like uh, anything remotely medical or, or right. clinical or anything like that. Yeah. And, and so the design is spot on, and the technology is, is spot on. It, it really is a perfect marriage. Uh, and you're you're the perfect dude to bring it to us, man. So yeah. thank you for thank you. Uh, for everything you've done throughout your life leading to this. Because as I was telling him in the green room, and I told you guys before, I, I'm partially deaf in my right ear. I use the app. I call my wife. I can hear. And now I can. I don't have to have sweaty left ear anymore. I can swap out. This is a luxury. <laughs> Right. People with normal hearing have not had to endure this, but I have. It's and amazing. It's, it's and there's really hundreds of millions of people like Yeah, and that's, right. a, that's a small cross for me to bear. There's like real, like, uh, you know, uh, people out there that it's really helping, but uh, I loved it and I'm really grateful for it. And I think it's awesome. That's Thank great. you so that's much. Great. Of course. Appreciate of course. that. Uh, we're running out of time. I, I promised questions from the audience. I'm a man of my word. We've got some microphones out there. Let's go ahead and take a couple. The first one looks like it's right over here. Hey, guys. Um, right. So my grandfather is actually partially deaf, so I'm glad that this kind of technology ex exists right now so I was wondering um, like has it uh, come to a point where you guys are already reaching out to like other countries to use the app or anything so I didn't catch uh, everything are there other countries that are using the app have you reached out across the world across the world the so States? the app it can be used if you have Wi-Fi um, it can be used if you have Wi-Fi um, anywhere in the world uh, that when, when you need to dial a local phone number, that's the U.S. and Canada for now, and then we're going to roll out, I think, to Western Europe and, 
the English speaking countries and then and then uh, the rest of the world. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. But um, by the by the way, just to mention one thing. So there is this transformation happening in, in the hearing technology landscape now, and, and we, we really want to be in the vanguard of that. There are 600 million people worldwide um, with some form of hearing loss, it's from between 360 and 600 million who are disabling hearing loss, and less than 5% of them have hearing aids. Uh, it's either insurance, it's affordability, it's access to audiology infrastructure. It doesn't exist. In the U.S., it's 15 to 20%, which is still sort of, um, you know, so you've got an underserved market that isn't getting the yeah, help. Yeah, because insurance doesn't cover hearing aids, so. Oh. So, sorry. Good. Well, um, I'm getting the signal. I've got time for, for one more question, and it's going to come from right over here. Hi. So we're going to take an online question, and Emma would like to know what is, has been the greatest accomplishment in your careers thus far? Oh, gosh. The greatest accomplishment is 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 getting keep getting jobs. Just an, any job is an accomplishment well, on any level as an actor. So I think to remain grateful for work in this uh, in this business as an actor is is, is my accomplishment. Uh, so did you ask about career or just life? What did you? Oh. <laughs> uh, her question was about career, but we can make it life. Uh, about it was about career, but you can make it. Oh, life. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I think probably leading to this. I think you know, um, Sonic Cloud. Uh, having an impact on people around the world. I, I love making movies, and I love uh, uh, getting the audience reaction and, and, and creating an emotional response that, that, that can maybe affect change. But if you can actually take technology and change people's lives in a direct, daily way, I think that would have to be it. And then the other thing would be just my family and my kids. Yeah. Uh, but that's For, not my career. Yeah, me, all that. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Ditto. Okay. Ditto. Um, Gentlemen, uh, regrettably, we're out of time. Uh, I, I talked too much, and I apologize for that audience. But we, uh, we're going to wrap things up. Before we go, Sonic Cloud, it's available. Uh, I know I got mine from the App Store. Yes. Uh, is it Google Play as well? It's on the Google Play Store as well. Yep, yep. okay. And, uh, and uh, coming, actually now, you can get the streaming, or just about, you'll be able to get the streaming for your Mac, laptop, or desktop. And then it'll roll out later on uh, other platforms like Windows and Chrome yeah. and so forth. Is there a website they can go to, to get all the information? SonicCloud.com. SonicCloud.com. Yep. Yep. Of course, Will and Grace. We all know Will and Grace. We know one. But two more seasons. Congratulations. Thank you so much, say, Thank you so much. Uh, guys, make some noise one more time. Join me thanking Larry Guterman, Sean Hayes for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Uh,